What's up, Helix users and HX Stompers? 3.0 is still kicking so much butt. We've had it for the weekend now, and I've really been enjoying diving into this stuff and getting familiar with the new features and the new amp models. In particular, I want to talk about the Princess. I think this has become the best amp in the entire catalog of the Helix. I think it's not even close. It's an instant favorite. Once I plugged into it, I was like, bam, this is it. I have always been a huge Princeton fan because I actually have a real 66 Princeton, which I was obviously thinking, why don't I compare them apples to apples and see how close we can get? Or if, hey, maybe tube is going to be so much better, right? Isn't that the uh, isn't that what the cool kids say? That you can't replicate the tube tone? So we're, we're going to see. I have the Princeton going through my Sir Reactive load. No cab sims coming from the reactive load. That's going in an effects loop into my HX Stomp. Same thing for the Helix, doesn't matter which one you're using. I'm using HX Stomp because it's more convenient on my desk. And that's in an effects loop. And I am going through the Princeton, uh, the Princess amp model into the stop cab that came with the Princeton. So I am using the 112 Princess cabinet. As it comes, 121 ribbon mic, four inches off, exactly stock as it is once you pull it up. Maybe you don't need to save it as a user default because it's already pretty good. So I'm going to do a direct comparison with these. We're gonna compare how it takes pedals, both modeled pedals and a real pedal. I've been on this kick lately for um, like a blues breaker style thing, which I know the uh, King of Tone and the Prince of Tone is based on. So I'm gonna be using the Air Sovereign and also a Moore Blues Crab, which is a really good replication or recreation, recreate, recreation, copy, clone, copy of the uh, the old Marshall Blues Breaker classic pedal. So we're gonna hear them both going into the Princeton and we're gonna build a little preset around it. So if you look here in HX Edit, I just have the effects loop, the amp, the cab, and I have the air apparent there. Did I say tone sovereign? I meant air apparent. So I'm gonna throw my cans on so I can hear everything super clear. I also, I picked up this little Mosky um, dual switch for the stomp. Insanely good little thing. It was like 25 bucks. Cable was like six bucks. Really great. So if you're looking at HX Edit, you can easily switch back and forth. I got them both set to bypass via the switch. So let's just get right into it. I'm using my cert. Rocking my old college baseball sweatpants. Life is good. pretty dead on. I could be, I can't tell a difference. I was playing a loop of this before. I asked Jess, I asked my buddy Matt if they could hear a difference and so far no good. Let's go through some pickup combinations just to make sure. I'm going to do the uh, the bridge in the middle pickup on the sir. Let's go to the uh, middle position, classic telly middle position. Okay, let's go to the neck pickup. The cool thing about this Mosky switch is that it's silent and I'm not looking at the screen, so I can't I can't see my stomp or the screen, so I really don't know which one is coming up right now until I edit this together in post. It's gonna be a surprise to me as well, pretty much. It's 
crazy. All right, I'm going to enable the air apparent here, just a regular basic overdrive setting. Interestingly enough, you can kind of hear more of a difference once the pedals engage. I don't know if this has to do with maybe the gain on, like the, I guess it's like the headroom of the real amp versus the headroom of the, uh, the modeled amp. Yeah, it seems like the, uh, the model gets a little bit more mid hump like a little bit more grit and edge could be the amount of gain on the amp but as far as being totally isolated they sound really really similar um let's kick on the real pedal so this is the uh moor blues crab <laughs> Now with the real pedal, I really, I feel like I can't tell. Am I bugging? Am I crazy? Rewind it with your eyes closed and see if you can hear it even changing. I feel like... I don't know. It seems to be more close going into the stump than using the... Uh, the pedals in the stump. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Let's have some fun now. So that's just like totally dry and isolated uh, guitar sounds. So um, let's build a little bit of a preset and get some context here. Uh, so I'm gonna go to, oh, why am I doing this? I don't need to do that anymore. Cause look, I have favorites and I have a spring verb right there that I could just drop in. Life is good 3.0. If you're not using favorites or anything, check out my video above and go do that immediately. Um, let's go up front. I'm gonna change that and I'm going to... Actually, you know what, let's see. I'm curious myself here how this is going to react to compression. <laughs> I feel like sometimes it's so, it's so close. I really, I can't even tell what what is what. I'm so curious to listen back to this and post. If you guys are hearing big differences, let me know in the comments. If you're not, also let me know because it's pretty awesome. So this is a real 66 Princeton that you don't need to spend, you know, 1800 to $2,000 on. It's right there. That's awesome. How about this? I'll make a deal with you guys. I was going to be selfish and put this up on the marketplace for sale. Don't boo me. Don't boo me. Okay, guys got to make a living here. If this video gets to... I think we can get to 300 thumbs up. 300 thumbs up and I will post this on Custom Tone for free. The whole preset that we built. So if you're commenting on this, if you're liking it, comment on it so it keeps getting boosted up. And uh, if we hit 300 within, say, a week, that's going to be a huge stretch. It's a big challenge. So make sure that you share the video, comment on it, and uh, hopefully we get to that 300. And I will share this with you guys for free if it's not, if it is, 
if it reaches 300 by next week. You got my word. Now let's, uh, let's get crazy here. Let's add some stuff. We didn't get a new chorus, right? What's something I could use here? I'm a huge Dimension Chorus fanboy. Love it. This is just, this is insane how good these sound together. Um, let's throw some delay in there. This is all just fun stuff that I'm just messing around with here. Um, yeah, let's cut a little high. Sometimes I'm just playing things sloppy, but... Now with some effects on it, like, it sounds exactly the same. I feel like I'm not even pushing the button sometimes. I have to double check. All right, so we got some toys in there. Let's cue up some uh, some dirt. I'm still trying to figure out this horizon drive, so if you guys have tips on this one, uh, please let me know. I'm gonna kick the, the real pedal on the Moor Blues Crab with that. See there, I, yep, I was wrong. I was guessing mentally at that point, and I, I guessed wrong. Uh, well, it's, like, it's pointless to even guess at this point. Let's, uh, let's throw some more goodies on here. Let's throw some Diana Drive. Let's really gain this up. Um, I like my voice up. Okay, let's. Uh, now this is the cheese, as uh, as Richie Castellano calls it. Let's uh, let's jack some of this up. Kick that on nice and light. <laughs> Maybe a little, maybe a little too much stuff happening.
loud noises, nonsense playing. Uh, I wanted to put this through its paces and really see what's good with this. So that's, let's turn the blues crab off. I'm getting a little noisy from uh, so much drive. <laughs> I'm playing right now. This is awesome. I'm stoked on this. I mean, if you're not convinced after watching me do this for, I've been filming for 18 minutes now. I don't know how much I'm keeping in the video, but if you stuck with me this long, then I hope you're convinced that this is the best amp model in the Helix. It sounds identical to my real Princeton. I'm so stoked on this. It's gonna be my new go-to amp, just like the real Princeton's my go-to real amp. I bring it to studio sessions, and I usually go through the Sur Reactive load just like I am right now. And that's how I get some studio tones when I'm not using my Helix. Now I don't need to do that. And I use my go-to settings on the Princeton as well. I'll put up a picture of those at some point in the video. And uh, holy crap, the Princess amp in the Helix is amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. And as always, I will see you in the next video.